and welcome to Tunnel Barn Farm for the second annual Drennan Winter Pole Championship. 115 of the country's best commercial anglers lining up to do battle. It's going to be one hell of an event. Uh, it means the world to me, that's why I'm back defending my title. Um, probably not drew the best today, but anxiety is going through the roof, you know. That's why it means, it means the world to you, doesn't it, to come back and defend. I'm on a different lake today, I was on canal yesterday, I'm on high pool today, so maybe pellet and uh, maybe another little trick up my sleeve, I don't know, could be maggot, could be worm, could be dead maggot, it depends what, the, depends what they're feeling on the day, Tom, but I think I'm going to start on pellet. Might pull out a little bit of meat in the uh, meat after dinner, see how the edges perform later on. Hi, I'm Andy Bennett and I'm here on the Drennan Winter Pole Champs and I've drawn peg 30 on High Pool. Reasonably happy with this draw, it's a good lake, um, so we've got a chance hopefully of getting in the frame today. I think the winners will come off this lake. Um, if I couldn't have peg 15 high, I probably would have took 27 or 30 on this lake, so fingers crossed we get off to a good start. The wind's getting up a little bit, which might scuffer things, but Hopefully we can catch some short as well if that's the case. Um, so yeah, see how we get on. Obviously the event itself, very similar to the Masters that we do in the summer, which is a brilliant event, been running for a few years. Last year, this was only a two-dayer. We've extended it to three this year, which I think is better. Um, just gives you a chance to catch up if you have a mediocre first day. Um, massive thanks to Drennan for also supporting it. No, not a lot of companies want to put money into things like this. so. Brilliant for us anglers, gives us a big event going into winter um, and long may it continue. Right, so we're here on New Pool on day one of the Drennan Winter Pole Champs. I'm on peg 29. Um, yeah, it looks all right. There's been a few fish topping. It's a little bit breezy, so hopefully that doesn't interfere with things too much, but hopefully with a few bites and fingers crossed we'll get off to a good start.
Um, nice peg, wind was blowing in, um, and I saw a few carp swirling down to the uh, to my right hand side. Um, so I started there on bread dobbin. Um, nice start, I had four carp straight away, about six, seven pound a piece, um, and then a few F1s. Um, all the while, been throwing meat short. Um, uh, and basically the rest of the match just rotated two lines short on me um caught a lot of f1s um yeah lo lovely days fishing really so so yeah very pleased for that right so it's the second day of the drennan winter pole championships at, here at tunnel barn and yesterday i was on peg five on canal and on the practice match i drew canal so i knew what to expect and i've just basically had a nice match to be fair just rotating a few lines with pellets few in the deep water on maggots at the end and ended up with 76 pound which was good enough for second in the section beaten, beaten by peg one steel of who had 83 pound so not too bad a result really today i've drew peg 20 on high pool now this lake's fished really well yesterday so i'm expecting to need to catch a fair few fish if you're going to win the section i know uh, andy bennett won the section off peg 30 yesterday so that's obviously going to be a favored peg i think he caught 100 pound there so we're going to need a reasonable weight similar sort of approach pellets across and then hopefully get a good run at the end show on maggots. So yesterday, first day of the Drennan Winter Pole Masters, I drew a lovely peg, um, peg 19 on extension, and they put some like little stocked fish in it, little F1s. Peg 17 wasn't in, and really, really shallow to me left there. Lovely, lovely peg to be honest, and I've had bites all day just dotting around. Um, started off to the island on pellets, caught a couple. Well, started short, caught two, went to the island, caught a couple. Just give me time to prime my maggot lines, two lines down the middle, and I've just had plenty of bites all day. Ended up with 94 pounds, so a lovely, lovely start. And then today I've drawn peg 13 on new, and normally, to be honest, um, sort of pegs one and seven, they're such good pegs, and yesterday it was quite windy, whereas freezing cold last night, millions of stars in the sky, and bright, not a cloud in the sky today, no wind, so normally when the conditions are like this, it's not the best and they're really spooky, but where I've drawn today, it's actually quite good, I think, because I've got some cover in front of me, and I think when it's, the conditions are like this, dobbing bread, hopefully, and then fingers crossed lay on to catch a few on maggots, so wish us luck. So yesterday I was on Jenny's four, um, knew I'd be up against six, so kind of had to fish around, plenty of different lines, just kind of picking the odd fish here and there. And lucky enough, I've managed to get some of the resident carp out. Um, beautiful fish, sometimes a bit spooky, but I've managed to put on a lovely 69 pounds, not just for the section win, but lake win as well. So doing it out there for all the girls. <laughs> and today I'm on uh, Newpool Peg 40. So um, hopefully again, a bit of space and just try and get a couple of lines going again and pick the odd fish out. Well, I drew uh, Club 19, uh, started dobbing on bread, had a few carp, a few F1s, um, caught a few pellets long and maggot short really, 105 pound on the lake and uh, four five rule. Yeah, today, I think I'm up against it a bit. Yesterday it was last in section, but different day today. I think 19 probably be the peg to beat, but who knows really? Plenty of fish about, so yeah, we'll see what happens.
Uh, first day I drew um, peg two on house, uh, managed to win the section, uh, 79 pound I think it was. Um, second day I drew club 21, again managed to win the section, 70, 73 pound I think, 74 pound. Um, and today I was looking for a, or expecting a good draw and I have drew extension 35 and Gary's laughing behind the camera there because uh, not very good, I, I don't think. Uh, the wind's blown down here though, so, you know, maybe it's pushed a few fish down. It depends if I can fish across. I think this peg was fourth in the section on day one. Not sure what it done on, on day two. Right, so we're on day three of the Drennan Winter Pole Champs here at Tunnel Barn Farm. I've drawn peg two on the house. Um, luckily enough, I've won my section on the first day over on Newpool with 60 odd pound. Um, had a bit of a meltdown Monday night, obviously staying away from sight, had a bit of gear pinched out the van. Luckily, and huge thank you to everyone that's helped me out, me and May, um, got some poles and kits so we could fish. So can't say thank you to enough to everyone enough. You've all been brilliant. So I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, managed to cobble some gear here together. I drew over on club, um, managed a second with 50 odd pound. And then I'm over here on house today, so fingers crossed we can put a few fish together and hopefully sneak in the frame overall. Um, myself and a couple of mates come out for a few days holiday, a bit of time away from work and uh, life and uh, come and hopefully enjoy a bit of fishing and nice fortunate couple of draws and a couple of good ways, so been a good week so far. So I'm leading this, uh, the festival at the minute with two points. Um, today I've drawn 26 on Jenny's which on the face of it looks like a decent peg. Wind's blowing this way. Um, just going to see how I take it. Slow and steady to start and uh, see how I get on. Just concentrate on my own match is always my plan.
Okay, that brings me on to the top three. The top three there, trophy in the cup. Third overall with a weight, 220 pounds four and five points, Christian Jones. <laughs> Second overall, he got four points this time, a weight of 198.12, Scott Bond. Scott Bond. Well done, Scott, mate. Let me go to the new champion. He's had four points again. He's got a weight of 225 pounds, nine ounces over the three days. He's fished an absolute blinder. Picking up £3,000 in cash and the Brennan Acolyte Bocart Pole, Lee Giles. Oh,